started here a few minutes late, but it's nice to mingle before the start of an event like this. And we'll start off with um, good morning, everyone. Thank you for attending this morning. My name is Debbie Evans. I'm the director of the Summersworth Housing Authority. A few housekeeping items to start. Please enjoy water and cookies, which is at the back table. Thank you. Today is a big day for all of us. Since 1961, SHA's mission has been to provide affordable housing to eligible families. We have stayed true to this mission while continuing to look for ways to get better. I'm here today to say the steps we are taking now and for the next few years will ensure that we continue our mission as the same agency, same residents, same buildings, but with a much needed makeover. Our journey through a HUD rental assistance demonstration, also known as RAD, has officially started. We are completely renovating apartments that 169 families and elderly have and will continue to call home in Summersworth, the home of the second RAD project of its kind in the state. The project we are here to celebrate is more than seeing new siding, windows, and sheetrock to be installed, lots of sheetrock. It is about recognizing the impact our partners are making to improve the quality of life for the residents. This three-site development we are rebuilding is the community investment in Summersworth. Starting this project was a journey of its own and has been very exciting for all who have had a part in the process. I would like to thank the City of Summersworth for their initial and continued support of this conversion. At this time, I would like to ask you to please welcome the Honorable Mayor Dana Hilliard. And I know you know how to run these. I probably don't even need the mic, as most people know, but. <laughs> and thank you, Deb, for calling me Honorable. I just left the middle school. As you know, my trade is uh, principal, and my students, I do not think, are viewing me as Honorable today as we veer towards the end of the year. And we need to make sure all those expectations are met. I think they had a couple other choice words for me, as a matter of fact. <laughs> One can only see into the soul of a community on how they preserve hope. One can only see into the soul of a community on how they ensure dreams can be reached by all citizens. One can only see into the soul of a community when lines of despair are erased, when each citizen is valued, and where opportunity exists for all who seek it. Life has no guarantees. For some Americans, the land of self-determination, the path towards success, has been in motion for generational lineage. For others, the harsh reality of wide disparity in economics has weakened the light guiding them towards capturing their piece of the American dream. A true community is there for its neighbors. It offers them access to the tools to build a future and a secure base to gather their thoughts, energy, and resources before they continue their personal journey towards success. With building upon the model of the hilltopper spirit of neighbor helping neighbor, today we celebrate as the Summersworth Housing Authority, under the, under the leadership of Deb Evans, has begun their aggressive commitment to redefining the community of hope as they modernize their housing opportunities to reflect the value of a true caring community. Today we celebrate how Summersworth's commitment to its community and to each other remains on the move, with the grad groundbreaking, and how once again we will offer hope for all of our citizens. As the new chapter in the new step on the journey towards local economic equality begins, the success of the past by those celebrated here today, we were able to succeed and we were able to build upon the hard work of all residents here committed and to find peace and dignity for each person in their housing because of the unwavering commitments of all members of the Summersworth Housing Authority and all members of the greater community here in our hilltop city. As mayor, I celebrate that commitment 
having lived some of my earliest years in one of the apartments just steps away until my parents could afford their first home under federal housing loans. Programs like RAD work. Agencies like the Summersworth Housing Authority work. And we have a proven record of changing people's lives. A true community is measured by the ability of its citizens to come together, to unite, to protect and offer opportunities for each other. Today we celebrate on how our 10 square mile community has once again taken its next step forward by offering dignity through modernizing housing and to offer our neighbors hope once again. Congratulations to Deb. Congratulations to all members of the Summersworth Housing Authority for once again proving that Summersworth does indeed have a bright future. Great job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great speech. A project of this size takes many agencies to put together. But before we thank those agencies, I would like to recognize some special people here today. Summersworth Housing Authority, Board of Commissioners, Chairman Paul Robitis. You could give a wave so everybody knows, everybody can stare at you. <laughs> Vice Chair James Morissette. Roland LaPointe. Dennis Messier. And Rebecca England. I'm going to run through some other important people here today. Summersworth Housing Authority team. Tammy Moore, Eric Gilmet, Carrie McElvain, Marie Finch, Dylan Zenga. I see some hands. <laughs> Lee Frost, Linda Warren, Philip Willette, Jay Jean. Paula Wilson, Christy Bradish, Jake Zenga, Lindsay Gagnon, Michelle Massey, Brogan Bonsaint, and Loretta McGrail, who was unable to be with us today. A great team. Allow me to thank our other talented partners that we have today. Steve Schuster, Ever North Senior Community Investments Officer, who is the consultant for this SHA project. Thank you, Steve. Way in the back. Tom McDonald, underwriter for the investor in this project. Also, we have with us today Jim Menahan from New Hampshire Housing Finance. Shaheen and Finney Law Offices, attorney Kenneth Viscarello with Team Valerie and Greg. Architect Carla Goodnight, of CJ Architects, Portsmouth, New Hampshire, with team Bill Bartlett. Is Carla, hi Carla, <laughs> way in the back. And she has some lovely uh, photos and plans for you to look at. Please take a moment to look at the renderings. Construction manager Gary Chicoin of Chicoin Construction Corp, with team John Dupree, Frank and Heidi Parks, Kelly Quinn Lineberry. time has come to thank the agencies that help us get here today. New Hampshire Housing Finance Authority, please welcome Robert DePriest, Managing Director of the Management and Development Division. Robert? Okay, thank you all. I have a few words to share here, but first I just want to say, Mayor Hilliard, that was a marvelous speech. I've been to a lot of these things, and I don't know if I've ever heard a better speech at a ribbon cutting or groundbreaking event. So. In order to top that, I'm going to have to step it up, and I think what I'm going to do is read uh, Section 42 of the Internal Revenue Code <laughs> in its entirety, which authorized the programs that paid for these renovations. Um, that's a joke. I don't have it printed, otherwise I would. Um, but I do, uh, on behalf of my boss, Dean Kristen, and the Board of Directors and the entire staff at New Hampshire Housing, I want to say congratulations, Deb, the entire team at Summersworth Housing Authority, and the entire project team. 
on making this important and difficult project come together. You know, projects like this, uh, renovation, preservation projects that invest in existing affordable housing and preserve them in the long run are uh, sometimes a little harder to get excited about than new construction projects. They're definitely harder to design and build when you're dealing with old buildings. Uh, and they can be harder to get resources for. Uh, when you do get money for them, it's really complicated because you have to deal with the existing regulatory uh, structure around the whatever money was used to build the housing in the first place and then whatever strings are attached to the new money that you're using to pay for the renovations. So it's hard stuff to do, but it's so important. And it's especially important in a place like Summersworth, great town, you know, housing costs and uh, city, excuse me, I'm sorry, uh, rents and house prices have gone haywire in New Hampshire in this last year, this last couple of years, uh, nowhere more so than in this region. And so this is exactly the right time to do a project like this that preserves these good affordable homes and ensures that they will be reinvested in for the long term. Uh, and so just want to tip my hat again to the team for making this happen. Oh, well, I'm not going to read the entire, entire uh, revenue code. I do want to say a word about the program that paid for these renovations in large part, which is the Low Income Housing Tax Credit. It's a federal program. Believe it or not, it's been in uh, existence since 1986. It's run by the IRS, so it doesn't get a lot of publicity, and that is okay, but it's been working well ever since 1986, which is why it has had bipartisan support for that entire time period and, and why there's a proposal now to expand the tax credit, which I think there couldn't be a better time for it. Um, just to explain a little bit about how it works, Investors like corporations and banks and rich people who have anybody with federal tax liability are incentivized to invest in affordable housing like this. So they are putting up money right now and will continue to put up money over the next two years, herded and sort of organized by our friends at Evernorth. And that money is paying for roofing and flooring and all the things that are going into making these apartments modern and nicer. And they won't see any tax benefit until we have certified at New Hampshire Housing that those that the project is 100% complete and that it's still being rented to low-income households and families and seniors who need the housing. So it's really a terrific program. It, it works. It doesn't uh, deliver any benefit or spend a federal dollar until the benefits are realized by the residents. And it's, it's great that because of this RAD program, the benefits of that program can be brought to the public housing portfolio, which has been uh, underfunded at times. With that, I have one more word to say, which is, I told you why the low income housing tax credit is great. One reason why it's not always the greatest thing is it's a little bit complicated. And so it takes really skilled, excellent practitioners to make it work. And we have one in our midst, Steve Schuster from Evernorth. Uh, this guy is uh, retiring shortly, which is painful for me to say, but he has been the steady hand and the smiling face behind so many wonderful projects. And there's so many people across Northern New England who are uh, going home from work and school tonight and sleeping in safe, decent, affordable homes because of Steve. And so thank you for all your work on this project, Steve. We'll miss you. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Um, that very nice speech and, and everything you said about Steve is true. He, he has been my go-to guy more than once. I would like to introduce at this time Evernorth, uh, Mr. Bill Shanahan, President of Evernorth. Bill? I'm sure you want me to come up? Not that oh, do you? Sure. <laughs> I was really, I should, cooler up here than down there. Yeah, no, it's great to be here. Um, you know, I've, like so many others, been um, cloistered for the last year or so, and this is kind of a big event to come out. And, um, you know, I, I, I've, I've been present on a number of these um, really auspicious occasions. But, you know, I kind of thought of the last year, too, a number of times how, you know, housing's gotten such um, great attention over the last year. and. You talk about um, things like, um, you know, refuge and sanctuary. Um, that's housing. And um, having a home um, became almost painfully um, um, Thank you. That's better. People just 
housing seems to have resonated for folks, and um, it's uh, just ironic that this 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 um, project is is coming um, about at a time like this at the end of such a tumultuous year. Um, many thanks to all our partners. Um, I think Rob and, and others have described our role in this. Um, you know, we're happy to partner with the Somersworth Housing Authority. It's been a great, great, great partnership for us. And um, we sincerely appreciate the opportunity to be able to do this. Um, I do want to say, too, um, Steve will be missed. Um, I, I, you know, we kid that Steve and I have had uh, quite a run of it over the last um, decade or so. And so I think uh, he's been a, our point person on this, and uh, we couldn't have found a better person to, to help us get this project over the finish line. So uh, congratulations, actually, to folks here this morning and everybody who's worked so hard to get this project because um, groundbreakings like this belie how much work actually goes into projects to get them to this point in time. And there's so much work left to be done, but so much work's been done to date. Thank you. I'm a, it's a pleasure to be here. It really is. Um, and uh, again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Another partner that helped us get here today is the Community Action Partnership of Stratford County. Please welcome Betsy Andrews Parker, Chief Executive Officer. Good morning. Um, I can't think of a better way to be out and unmasked and vaccinated to be here celebrating this today. Honestly, it um, is without um, without medicine, we would not be able to be here because we had been on hold for so long with weatherization and those things that we couldn't make this happen. And the time is now. So um, we have made a commitment with our board of directors to be able to take our funding and leverage it in ways that think outside of the box. And we can't think of a better way to describe partnership than all the partners that are on this sign. And I have to give the kudos to my team, both Bob and Mary Beth, who come to us with these ideas about what do we do and how do we leverage and how do we make this work. And by doing that, it's over $2 million that we're going to be bringing to the table for this project that uh, necessarily wouldn't have been there or would have been sort of challenging to get to. And when we do this, people ask us all the time, well, why are you doing this? Because people are living here and they already have the rents paid for. They already do this. What we've seen with this is that you're able to reinvest back into programs. You're re able to reinvest back into the people here. The projects that we see where people have their homes weatherized, they have pride in where they're living. They have pride in their community. And it's more than just making it, I mean, these, these drawings are wonderful, more energy efficient. It brings pride to that community and it brings, um, a new elevation to where they're living and what they're doing. And we see so many things spurned from there. So we cannot think of a better project. We're looking forward to this. I cannot wait for the tour, but we also just can't wait to see how people feel when they come to their homes after they've had this work done. And thank you, Debbie, and all the rest of the partners for here today, including us in here. Thank you. Thank you, Betsy. I would also like to acknowledge these agency supporters. Of course, we cannot forget Department of Housing and Urban Development and the staff of the Boston Field Office, New Hampshire Community Development Finance Authority, New Hampshire Saves Program, Eversource, and Unitil. At this time, I would like to welcome Victoria Laracy from Congressman Chris Pappas' office. Victoria. Good morning. This is so wonderful. And I'm sorry, how's that? <laughs> this is so wonderful. And unfortunately, Congressman Pappas couldn't be here today. Um, but I do have a letter to read from him on um, his behalf. Dear friends, thank you to the Summersworth Housing Authority for their invitation to speak at today's groundbreaking ceremony. I'm sorry I'm not able to be there with all of you today for this long awaited and exciting event. Under the leadership of my good friend, Mayor Hilliard, of the city council and the hardworking and dedicated city employees, Summersworth has been experiencing incredible growth and change in many ways. From improvements to vital city infrastructure to creating a business friendly, diverse and welcoming atmosphere, Summersworth is showing the Granite State that great things can come when everyone works together for a shared cause. Today's event is further proof 
that the future is strong for all Hilltoppers. Today's event is a great example of how local, state, and federal government agencies can partner with private industries to help ensure that good, safe, and affordable housing is not only available, but accessible to those that need it. This $31 million project will allow your housing authority to make substantial upgrades to 169 housing units, along with other important upgrades to accessory buildings. The goal here is so much more than improving these units. It's about providing the dignity your fellow neighbors deserve to have in a place they call home. I would like again to thank the Housing Authority for their invitation today and Deb. I would also like to thank CJ Architects, Gary Chacon Construction Corporation, the New Hampshire Housing Finance Authority, New Hampshire Community Development Finance Authority, HUD, Evernorth, our friends at the Community, um, Community Action Partnership of Stratford County, Eversource, and Unitel for their help in making this project possible. Congratulations, sincerely, Chris Pappas, Member of Congress. Thank you, Victoria. At this time, I would like to read a couple letters that was sent in. The print is much smaller, so I will take out my cheaters. This letter is from United States Senator Margaret Hassan. Summersworth Housing Authority. Dear friends, I regret that I cannot be with you today, but I wish to join you in celebrating the groundbreaking of Summersworth Housing's Rental Assistance Demonstration Rehabilitation Project. Affordable quality housing is critical to our economy and our high quality of life, helping citizens live independently and engage in their communities. This not only helps strengthen our middle class and ensure that working families can thrive, it also will help existing businesses grow and attract new workers to this region. All Granite Staters deserve the opportunity to live healthy, productive lives that allow them to contribute to the economic and civil vitality of our state. These renovations will be wonderful in addition to the Albert J. Netto Homes, Philly and Terrace, and Chapentier Apartments, which have helped ensure that more Granite Staters can contribute to their economic and civil life. Thank you to everyone here today for devoting your time, energy, and resources to strengthening the health and well-being of your fellow Granite Staters in our communities. I look forward to continuing to work together to build a stronger New Hampshire where everyone is included in our shared success and prosperity. With every good wish, Margaret Wood Hassan, United States Senator. Also this morning, uh, we have a letter from United States Senator Jean Shaheen. Dear friends, I wish I could be with you in person for today's groundbreaking ceremony for Summersworth Housing's RAD Rehab Project. Please know that I join in spirit as we celebrate this progress in offering affordable housing to residents of Summersworth. Thank you to everyone gathered here today for all of your work in this meaningful effort. It is imperative that we work towards giving each New Hampshire resident a comfortable place to call home. By preserving and improving housing options in Summersworth, we are only pushing ourselves closer to this goal. We must continue to explore ways to make housing more available and affordable with an understanding that accessible housing options are an important piece of a thriving community and a diverse and resilient economy. Community development comes a little easier when citizens are able to enjoy the security of a stable home. Each of the 169 units you will renovate will provide this feeling of stability for every family who resides in them. Once again, thank you to all who have made this event and these projects possible. I wish you all the best as you continue your good work. Sincerely, Jean Shaheen, United States Senator. And we thank both of them for sending in those letters. Okay. I just want to mention, um, we have a few other special guests today here. Uh, with us today, we have Bill with his Summersworth High School broadcast class student, Brandon and David and Frisbee. They are all gaining some media experience, so um, this was good practice for them. We're happy to have them here today. And I want to just say one more thank you to, um, number one, everyone that came here all the partners I've mentioned, all the people that have put 
a lot of hard work into this project from start to finish. I guess I, I did leave out a, a group of people as the Summersworth Housing staff. I myself could not be up here without them. Um, they're a great group of people and I would not want to work with anyone else. So my round of applause to Summersworth Housing staff.